All right, this is not a story about a sandwich. This is a story about an Edinburgh family. But let me tell you what goes into making Edinburgh's original curly dog sandwich. It starts with a foot long hot dog sliced 15 times. And when it's fried, it curls nicely on a bun. Then you cover it with homemade coney sauce, a middle bun, tartar sauce, a leaf of lettuce, and two slices of cheese. The curly dog debuted almost 70 years ago. And bringing it back today is more than just a return of a sandwich. It's the return of a family tradition. When you taste the 2022 version of the Curly Dog, do you get a little emotional? Yeah, it does. As you can see, the Curly Dog is more than just a sandwich to the people of Edinburgh. I've convinced to get it back to the original place where it all started. Chuck Fulford is the son of Curly Dog inventor Walt Fulford. Chuck was there when the Curly Dog drive-in opened on this very spot in Edinburgh on May 21st, 1954. I was a young kid and I helped make the sauce. So when the Curly Dog was introduced in 1954, was it an instant hit? Yes. We had them coming from everywhere. I have seen cars pulled off the highway on 31 right here. All because of the sandwich. Popularity of sandwich. So dad was looking into franchising, but he had this massive stroke and never came back all the way. If you're your dad wouldn't have had that stroke, do you think that this curly dog sandwich would have been popular worldwide? I don't know about world, but there's no doubt in the United States. Different versions of the curly dog were sold in Edinburgh for years, but none tasted exactly the same as the original from the 1950s until Chad Smock, the 33-year-old owner of Hickory Hills Barbecue, contacted Chuck requesting one item. The handwritten recipe that I've had that nobody else has had. Does it look like something from like the Declaration of Independence kind of thing <laughs> from back in you know the 50s? I was impressed with the young man. I saw he was committed to doing it right. But doing it right took five long Long months because the curly dog's original ingredients are hard to find these days. You know, they use all beef frank. They don't make it anymore. It was a commercial hot dog that they only got back then. Where can I get a hot dog that tastes just like that? What did it mean to you when he tasted it and said yes? Coming from the son of the original owner of this legendary item, it was definitely a very good feeling. Do you feel a piece of your family is back? <laughs> yeah. I really do. My father's buried in a cemetery right over here. And I was kidding a couple people I know. Can you feel that little rumble? I said, that's my dad over there jumping up for joy. Pretty emotional stuff down there in Edinburgh. How popular is the curly dog now? Well, Chad said he has sold more than 700 curly dog sandwiches in the first week since it's been back. We were there for about two hours and people were coming in. They were wanting the curly dog. Yeah. It's, it's, you were asking about, like, did I bring any in? It'll change your day. <laughs> I mean, you gotta re, you gotta the reorganize your day. Cause so it's, is the answer no? I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> okay. Because I've it, never been interested in a, in a hot dog that has a tartar sauce on it. It's, oh, the tartar sauce that. makes it, it's like a cool, it's it's definitely a unique taste. Yeah. yeah. But it's kind of a cooling kind of well, taste. Well, technically, all the stuff that goes in tartar sauce, I'm not, I'm not opposed to right, it. Right, Because like exactly. if you put mayonnaise on a hamburger and mm -hmm. you get a little pickle, like the relish. That's it's, true. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I might be willing to try that. We got a link to the address of okay. the curly dog of the, uh, of, of the Hickory Hills Barbecue down on US 31 in Edinburgh on our website at WTHR.com. Mm.